I loved the movie. Great. You were amazing in it, which uh, it was kind of a different performance for you. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very subdued, uh -huh. very, very slow burn. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a, it was an interesting dynamic. He's the introvert of this trio. Right. And he had to kind of, I trust my director always, and I trusted John Madden to kind of go, you know, I was like, is it too passive a performance? And that was John always said to me, he goes, I want it to be so insular and slowly leak out. And he goes, and the more you do that, the more it allows Martin's character to be extroverted and come out, of, come out of his shell more. And it allows Jessica's character to have a real kind of diversity between these two men. So, you know, it's always, that's always a nice kind of challenge when a director puts it, someone like that in front of you. So a trio of spies thrust working together in a trio of actors, what's the difference? Um, well, I, th I find that they kind of blend. <laughs> they have yeah. to. Um, and, you know, we were lucky enough to shoot in order. So in that house, you start off as a happy family. You start off with a couple of happy actors. By the end of it, you want to get out of the house as an actor, and the characters want to get out of the house. So it's that kind of, we got lucky that way. Right. One of the things that's really great about the movie is the old school espionage. It's yeah, yeah. so different from all the CGI and gizmos. And yeah, gadgets. and they're not like Jason Bourne type uh, spies either. Or, you know, they are kind of regulated. And at the time, the Mossad, when it first started, they were young, idealistic, and naive kind of spies. That's what they were. They, they all came in with a cause to fight for their country and fight for their heart, but not knowing what kind of emotional challenges you know, lay ahead. It's very hard to kind of give up everything you know and love and just focus on something for your, for your country. And right. that mission, no matter what cost, you'll succeed in. You've had your own mission. I mean, here you are, mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've left home, come here to do your work. Yeah. How's that going? Well, I'm working, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. The characters in the debt are all saddled with a lot of fear and mm -hmm. a lot of regret. I mean, the title itself implies that at some point we need to pay due. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. some compromise in the past. And I'm wondering, you know, I mean, as sons and fathers, husbands, whatever we may be in our lives, there's always some sort of a debt for us. I'm yeah. wondering if that applies to you. In well, way. I think the character of David has that. Yeah. Like, his family's been wiped out. And I always looked at it as if he succeeds in this mission, it's almost like he can put to rest quite peacefully his family. He's done good. He's held up a, their, their legacy, kind of, you know, he, they can be proud of him. Except when it goes wrong, it's what happens when it's like holding water in your hands. Right. It's kind of, you always can't just hold it. It's 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 a struggle, you know, to just do something quite simple. How does that resonate for you personally? Um, I mean, how do how do you dig, mine that for for a performance? We mind that by going, you know, it's like making a movie. You know, there's a responsibility when you make a movie. It's it's not just, you know, about yourself. There's a responsibility to your audience. And I find that if I'm struggling or if I don't feel I'm doing the best of my ability, it does. There's the parallel, you know. It comes out, and an audience is going to recognise it and go, "That guy's coasting," and then you feel kind of that you've let them down. So you try the best you can at that time in your life to deliver a story and a character that they'll get their sixteen bucks worth out of. Right. There's so much gravity in this film. It's the characters are so heavy. Yeah. I would imagine that could either be very, very draining to work on as an actor, or there might be some moments of levity. Um, there's always moments of levity. It has yeah. to. Otherwise, it's, if pressure cooks so much, it's got to kind of let off some steam every now and then. Can you um, give me an example? Uh, not particularly, because I can't really remember any. Um, <laughs> but I'm sure there was levity. Um, but the, most of the time, it, it is in the fabric of your being. The house does get to you. The great thing is that John Madden is such a calming influence and a graceful director who directs with such ease. So it never felt pressured. It always kind of felt... You know, the movie's chugging along quite slowly. It wasn't like a war, which was nice.